Understanding your company's data plays a crucial role for any data team, or even any company, to be successful. Replying on impromptu conversations or multiple external tools to get answers to your data questions leaves your company's knowledge buried, unsearchable, and spread across so many tools it can be lost forever. This can result in confusion, consuming time and money while your team constantly switches from tool to tool, searching for answers that should be at their fingertips. With Open Metadata's collaboration features, you can get the knowledge you're looking for without the chaos, all centralized, connected, and hassle-free. Collaborating with your team right in Open Metadata can be done in three ways. You can open conversations, create tasks, and assign them to anyone in your workspace, or create announcements. Let's go through these three options right now. You can create conversations on tables, topics, or pipelines. To create a conversation on a data asset, you navigate to the asset you're interested in. This time, I will look at one of the tables we have. Once we get to the main page for that table, you can see under the activity feed and tasks, all of the activities pertaining to this particular table. This applies to any entity. Every conversation and thread is stored here, keeping your company's knowledge and metadata collected and searchable. If we head back to the details tab, we can see the multiple callout button with the plus symbol in it. Anywhere you see this symbol, that means you can open a conversation thread. At the top of the page, you can open a conversation on the tags associated with the data asset you're looking at, or here we can open a conversation around the description. Let's open a conversation about the description. This opens a side drawer where we can use markdown syntax to leave detailed messages to our team. These messages can conclude bold, italics, strikethroughs, quotations, code, and lists. We can also add links and tag people or teams in the messages with the at symbol. The hashtag allows us to link other data assets into our conversation. And finally, we can even add emojis to our conversations to add some fun. Then just hit the send arrow and your conversation is created. If we go back to the landing page of Open Metadata, we will also see our conversation at the top of this activity feed as well. Now, let's create a task. You can create tasks on tables, topics, pipelines, and dashboards. Let's use the video game sales dashboard as an example for this. Anywhere you see a callout with a question mark, you can create a task. At the top of the page, you can create a task to request tags for the data asset, or below under the details tab to create a task for adding or editing a description. We will create a task to request the description of this dashboard. We can assign this task to a person or a team with the at symbol. I will assign it to Harsha. Then I can add in a suggested description of the data asset if I want. Then hit the Suggest button in the bottom right corner and the task is created and assigned to that individual. The Announcements feature is designed to help your company and team keep up to date on all the data assets and how they change over time. For example, an admin will be able to notify all downstream users or followers of a data asset of upcoming changes. You can create an announcement on tables, topics, dashboards, and pipelines. Let's navigate to our Trino pipeline and create an announcement. In the top right corner, next to the follow button, you will see a three dot menu and click that. This opens a drop down, And the second item on this list is to create an announcement. This opens another side drawer. In this, you will see any inactive announcements and have the option to create one. You can only have one active announcement at a time. To create your first announcement, click the add announcement button then enter the name of the announcement and the start and end date that you want the announcement to run for. You can also optionally add a description that would tell users any additional information. Click Submit and the announcement is created. If you chose the announcement to start in the future, then it will show as inactive until that date. If you set the start date for today, which we did, then we will refresh the data asset page and the announcement will appear at the top right in a magenta announcement box. Now let's talk about our activity feed. All the latest activities of all types are organized here in the feed for easy access and for all users to see the latest updates on the metadata. 
You can also filter this feed if you want to look at only a particular subset of all of the activity that is happening. You can filter by the data you or your team owns with My Data, anything you are specifically mentioned in with mentions, or by the data you're following with the following filter. You can also use the filter on the right to look at the created tasks, conversations, or announcements in the activity feed. I will filter by all of the announcements. Now you can use these two filters together to help search for specific announcements on all the data assets that you're following, own, or have been mentioned in. Once you find what you're looking for, you can create conversation threads on any activity, including announcements with the arrow in the right corner when you hover over the activity. This will allow everyone on the team to raise issues, ask for clarity, or get confirmation in one single place. Here, with a simple click on the happy face that appears in the right corner of each activity, I can react to anything in the activity feed to let my team know that I have seen their updates, announcements, or tasks.